Hello, I'm Atuba George, and I'm so excited to be bringing God's truth to you today. Now, before we go into today's broadcast, can we call for that daily bread as the Lord commanded us to do? Join me right now, release your faith as we declare, say, Father, I receive right now my daily bread. You have given it to me and I receive it. Let all angels that walk consigning this bring this to pass to me now. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Now, I shared a message with, with you yesterday about telling you the role, how God created the earth and Satan brought about the darkness now when i mean satan i mean lucifer brought about the darkness that we find in the world today now i shared that to explain what we started talking about last tuesday from ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12. it says for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. Praise God. Now, Paul letting us know here that there is a wrestle going on. And he says it is not against flesh and blood. It's not against flesh and blood. But then, note the word he used there. He says against the rulers of the darkness of this age. Now, when Lucifer was ruling the earth, he had, notice, he used the word plural, rulers of the darkness of this age. So when Lucifer was ruling, I told you he was the first man that God created, and he was in charge of this earth's realm. And when he was ruling, he had officers ruling with him. And, you know, when the Bible talks about we're dealing with the God of this world, whom the God of this world have blinded their eyes. See, Paul was speaking in 2 Corinthians, say, if our gospel is hidden, it is hidden to them that are blind. Then he says, whom the God of this world have blinded their eyes. Now, notes again, he used the word, whom the God of this world have blinded their eyes. Now, here he calls it, rulers of the darkness of this age now darkness and blinding all have to do with sight a lot of people are blinded by what by the darkness and the darkness is caused by who the god of this world and who's the god of this world referred referred to the devil so he sets rulers over the darkness in every sphere in other words and, and, and like i was if you, if you didn't listen to yesterday's message please go listen to it again because it took a long while when satan was in charge and running things now you see he because you no know, sometimes people want to say hey, but god you, you say god destroyed our whole world yes but then you remember also that after Adam and Eve were created and they sinned against God, the Bible said God drove them out of the garden. And when God drove them out of the garden, we have no um, information about how God dealt with Adam and Eve again. But you see, life continued from there. Now remember, we were still dealing, and we are still today, dealing with one who's been so experienced on earth. Lucifer. He's still the one we are dealing with. 
So when God drove them out of the garden, he, he took them and he began to relay thoughts and his wisdom in their hearts. And by that wisdom, which is darkness, they began to create again. Remember, God gave them a word. Be fruitful, multiply, and fill up the earth. But then they were driven from the garden. Meaning, remember I told you something yesterday about the flow. So Adam and Eve lost the flow. And Satan began to establish. Now that's how he grew to become the ruler of the... He, he became the god of this world. And same way, he sets up principalities and, and rulers over darkness. Now, we are dealing with demonic beings who sit over the various darkness that are blinding. Understand me? There, are, there, are, there is a being responsible for the financial darkness. Now, what do I mean financial darkness? The purpose of that ruler is to see to it that people, human beings, or man, don't come into the truth of what God has said concerning finances. So all the systems that were set up to get you busy, to get you active, is to keep you in darkness. Meanwhile, God has his light where finances is concerned. There is a ruler over the darkness in the political sphere. What is his job? To see to it that the truth concerning governance and politics is never known. So he fills the, 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 the earth with enough political activities to distract your mind. Same way, you've got the ruler over religion. The purpose of that ruler is to see to it that man, man don't come into the light or the truth where worshipping God is concerned. So he fills you with enough activity all in darkness. And as long as you are busy with all these activities, you will never see the light. And that's, that's how the darkness was formed. And that's how the darkness is being sustained. So in every sphere, we have ruler over darkness. And now, he says... That is what we are in wrestle against. That's what we are wrestling against. How do we wrestle against them? It's not by praying all night and saying every demon or every darkness or every ruler over the political atmosphere come down. No, 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 no. Remember, God has a way of doing things. And as a child of God, if you don't understand so that you align yourself and walk the way God is walking, you will not be useful to God in this fight that is going on. How do we engage as God's children? You first of all allow His light to come upon you. It says, for the Lord shall arise upon you. We make this mistake all the time. God tells you, son, I want to bless you financially. You know what you do? You go and start doing study on the darkness and then how to engage in the darkness, financial darkness. And at the end of the day, everything you do, thinking you are carrying out God's blessing ends in darkness. Meanwhile, what God is expecting you to do is to put yourself under his light and allow him to arise from within you, receive his wisdom, and by his wisdom begin to forge ahead, by his wisdom begin to make progress. That's what we are called to do. 
And he is not sending us to engage in any fight with any demon. All we are expected to do now, we know that you see that ruler over the darkness is making sure that light doesn't come. And we who are the carriers of light, we who have received light from him, because the light is from the inside, as we receive light from him, we are supposed to be exhibiting that light. And remember, he says, the light will shine in the darkness. The darkness cannot comprehend it. That's just the truth about it. So there is no such thing as every darkness I command you to fall. No, no. How the darkness falls is when you rise and begin to shine the light. So in your sphere, in your area, in, in that place that you're concerned about, no matter the darkness that is ruling over that place, where is the light that have come in through you? You are supposed to be patient with the Lord until he fills you with light. And let me tell you this truth. If your journey in life is the same with an unbeliever, if your journey in life is the same with what is normal for everybody, you have not received any light. You haven't. When you receive light, how you know that you have received light is simple. Your journey is certainly going to be different. But then you are going to see that the manifestation of the blessing, the manifestation of progress, the manifestation of prosperity is working. Now, this is why I shared these things with you earlier on this month. This is why God told Joshua, he says, you shall make your way prosper see you shall make your way prosper how will you make your way prosperous when you receive light from him when when now that that's just how it works fill your heart fill your mind fill your thoughts with god's thoughts now what does that do to you it removes you from the darkness that is over the the, the, the sphere and when it takes you out of that darkness, now it fills you also with light. And by that light, you begin to take step after step after step and fill this whole realm as, it, as long as it has to do with you, with light. This is the reason there was farmer in, in the land and everybody was moving. But God came to Isaac and said, don't move like every other person. Stay right here. Now, I see what happened. There was darkness financially. And based on that darkness, wisdom came that, look, it is just right for everybody to move in this direction. So everybody began to move in that direction. But see, they were all being controlled by the prevalent darkness. But then, God came upon Isaac, one man. And he began to instruct Isaac. He said, don't follow everybody. Stay. And he believed what God told him. And he stayed. And then he got an instruction. So now, he did so. And what happened? The Bible says in the same year, he reaped a hundredfold. Now, how did that work? Because of the light that came upon him. The light that came within him. Now, because of that light, he took an action. And that action he took brought blessing into his life. Instead of following what everybody is doing. Instead of following what the wisdom in that darkness is suggesting they should do. Your nation's economy is so bad, and then everybody begins to check out of the country. Everybody begins to, 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 to relocate. Everybody begins to fly out. Hey, you may just be walking by that darkness. I said, you may. 
Because the fact that people are living doesn't mean God is not instructing some to move. Every man according to your own. But here is the point. The light of God must shine upon you. It, it, it begins from within you. How? By God speaking to you on your inside. When you hear that voice and then you begin to walk by that voice, that is light. And as long as you walk in that light, according to the leading of that voice, and, and if you've experienced this you know, a lot, you will understand that God most times leads you in the opposite direction of what the world is leading. And that's how to tell you that is the difference between light and darkness. Because many people that are flowing according to the world are, are flowing according to the darkness in the world. So when God begins to lead you, he begins to lead you in the opposite direction. You see that now? And as long as you follow him, that is when your light will begin to shine. Listen to me. Our nation, we, we are going to be celebrating 1st of October on Saturday. Our nation is going to be 62 years of independence. And I believe so strong in my heart. I just believe it in my heart that God is saying the days of darkness over your nation has come to an end. Yes. And this 62nd year we are stepping into as an independent nation. I see God's light coming upon our nation. And like I told you, how will the light come? It's not the sun. It's not anything that is going to happen and people's head will just twist and start behaving in a different way. No, sir. His light will shine on one man. His light will shine on one man in each sphere. When it comes to governance, one man. You understand? Now, when I mean one man, I mean individuals individuals are begin are going to begin to rise yeah with the wisdom of god they wish they shall rise with the wisdom of god they shall begin to change things now we can see what the darkness have done over our nation but the good news is this the story hasn't ended yet hallelujah i love that part the story hasn't ended yet God's light is coming on our nation this, this 62nd year. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> God's light is going to shine on... Uh, see, Nigeria... We are going to walk in so much light that many people will not understand. When I say we, I'm talking about those through whom God is going to arise. So you listening to me right now, it's important you ask yourself, am I part of those through whom God is going to arise? Or am I part of the darkness that, this, that, is, that the light is going to wrestle against? When we begin to rise, hear me, hear me, there is not going to be any warfare. It's just going to be as, as simple as when you switch on the light bulb in your room and how easily darkness disappears that's what's going to happen so th there is nothing like oh we are we are fighting them no there is no that kind of fight will not exist we will just shine the light and and we begin to walk according to that shining and things will just begin to change because when light comes Every, even those that love darkness will see the truth. And so when light comes, those that are, you know, Jesus spoke about those who are doing evil, they don't love the light. Because the light will reveal their deeds. So you see, the light will reveal their deeds and they will just walk out. They will just, they will just walk out. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. That's the story. That's, that's what God is saying concerning our nation. So as we bless God today, know this and make up your mind for this. I'm going to be one of those 
that God is going to arise upon in Nigeria. And wherever in the world you're listening to me, God is arising upon you. His glory shall be seen upon you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever you are involved with, I speak light. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Shine. Shine by the light of God. Shine in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, remember every first of the month, we spend time fasting and praying according to the watches. I want you to plan for this one, but I'm going to tell you more about it tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye.